Aaron, could you just explain what you saw as you were rounding second that led you to to try to go to third in that eighth inning? Yeah, um, thought Jill smoked the ball down in down the corner. Um, you know, trying to play aggressive, you know, make something happen. But um, you know, in that situation, you know, got to stay at second base and you know, kind of keep the inning rolling, especially when we got him on the hook like that. Um, you know, my eyes thought it was one hundred percent. Thought I got in there, but um, you know, replay probably says different, but. You know, it's got to play a little, a little smarter baseball there. Just how tough is that to take? As you mentioned, you guys were mounting a little bit of a rally there in that eighth. Oh, it's always tough. You don't want to end inning like that, especially when you got a team on the ropes. Um, guys are swinging the bat well in that inning. Um, yeah, trying to play aggressive, make something happen. And, you know, sometimes you just got to stay a second and keep the inning rolling. You know, that's Brian Hope. Aaron, uh, you talk about playing aggressive there. You feel like that's a theme with this team, the guys are just trying to do too much right now? At times, you know, I can only kind of really speak for myself, you know, especially in that situation. Yeah, just trying to, uh, you know, get the third for my team. You know, that's, that's really all I'm trying to do, but um, got to do a better better job of reading it and, you know, knowing a guy, you know, like, hey, he's got a great arm out there and, you know, made a perfect throw right on the base. And, um, you know, I thought I snuck in there, but... Uh, didn't. Aaron, we've seen your manager get heated before, thrown out before, but he's been pretty steady throughout this whole rough start for you guys. What does that do for you, for the, for the dugout, just seeing him, you know, uh, kind of explode like that? Uh, anytime, you know, Booney gets, you know, pretty fired up, it fires up the team, um, you know, especially a situation like that. Um, not getting a chance to challenge. I think that'd really get, you know, anybody fired up. But, uh, you know, over the years, you know, over the past times he's got thrown out, it, you know, ignites his team and, you know, gets us going. So, um, you know, it's hopefully it does that for us tomorrow. So next to Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Aaron. We were talking to DJ and he said a lot, of, a lot of you guys, including himself, are pressing at the plate. Um, we've talked about this for a couple of weeks now. How does one stop doing that? I, I think, like I've said before in the past, it comes back to preparation. You know, not putting in the work and, you know, trusting yourself to, you know, get the job done and trusting your teammates. Um, and sometimes when, you know, you're not getting the job done or your teammates not getting the job done, that's where I think pressing kind of comes into play and you try to do too much and, you know, make something happen. But, uh, you know, this is a team with a lot of great players, you know, a lot of great you know, talent, great approaches at the plate. Um, you know, so I think it's just about taking a step back and going back to our preparation and putting our work in and, and trusting it. You know, then once this game starts and we get things rolling, it's, you know, go out there and play. And um, I think just right now we're we're just not doing that right now. So we just got to take it back a step and regroup, get back to the board and, you know, make some changes and get it going. And Aaron, you've been very you know, very open saying that the boos from the fans uh, kind of are motivating to you. But at this point, you know, we hear from the fans all the time. So do you, you know, in terms of the frustration that, you know, this Yankees team who should be performing better can't even beat the Orioles. Yeah, it's, it's one game tonight. Um, you know, it's over now and, and we lost and, you know, nothing we can do about that. It's time to move on and get ready for the game tomorrow. You know, we still got three more important games against these guys and, uh, you know, learn from the night and move on.